Welcome to AC247, I'm Aaron Dean. Russell Brand is no longer getting money from his YouTube channel. The company has suspended monetization after multiple rape and sexual assault allegations against the comedian. YouTube says that Brand violated its creator responsibility policy, which takes note of creators' behavior on and off the platform. This comes after London's Metropolitan Police announced that it was investigating an allegation of sexual assault in 2003. In recent years, Brand has focused his attention on YouTube. His channel has been accused of promoting conspiracy theories, including COVID-19 denialism. The United Auto Workers' historic strike against General Motors and others has entered its fourth day and still no deal in sight. Negotiations floundered over the weekend. The Advocate Channel's Mike Valerio takes a look at where things stand. Well, at this juncture, the strike has stopped about 15% of production of the big three U.S. automakers, and it seems as though negotiations are stuck in the slow lane. Weekend negotiations saw little progress between the United Auto Workers and the big three automakers. We still have a long way to go. While the strike remains targeted at one plant for each company, the union warns it could intensify efforts this week if its demands are not met. We'll uh, see how things progress the next few days, and uh, you know, if we have to amp up pressure, that's what we're going to do. Top of the list for workers, an immediate 20% raise, followed by four additional 5% raises over the four-year deal. All three companies have countered with a 20% raise during the life of the contract with an immediate 10%. We gave up a lot in 2008 to help Ford out during the recession. We didn't get any raises for three contracts. So it's time for us to get something. Analysts say the U.S. economy is getting bruised, but the strike's impact isn't likely to push the nation into a recession. It would depend very much on how long the strike lasts and exactly who's affected by it. The spillover is already impacting non-striking workers, with both GM and Ford announcing temporary layoffs on Friday. Suppliers working with the big three could also face layoffs soon. Impacted states like Michigan will see a decrease in tax revenue, and buying a car could get more expensive. It's not that we're going to wreck the economy. We're going to, we're going to wreck their economy, the economy that only works for the billionaire class. And another dynamic to watch, beginning tomorrow, the UAW's counterpart in Canada could go on strike against Ford. That could put even more pressure on one of the big three U.S. automakers. That's the latest reporting from here. I'm Mike Valerio. Back to you. Prices at the pump historically drop after Labor Day and the end of the summer driving season. However, that's not the case this September. Gasoline prices rose to $3.88 per gallon nationally on Monday, according to AAA. That's the highest that they've reached thus far this year, largely due to oil prices pushing past $92 per barrel, although the current national average is below the all-time record high of $5.02 in June 2022, they are 20 cent higher than they were at this time last year. Price pumps are now at least $4 or higher per gallon in 11 states, including Arizona, Colorado, and Oregon, according to AAA. Thanks so much for joining us for AC247. For more, go to theadvocatechannel.com and subscribe to the Advocate Channel YouTube page. For The Advocate Channel, I'm Aaron Dean.